to summarize our previous points, the assault weapons span threatens the Second Amendment rights. Um, the court has sent a clear message that incremental steps to erode the Second Amendment are unacceptable. The restatement of a ban on so-called assault weapons runs counter to the Second Amendment, which protects the right to lawfully keep and bear arms for self-defense. Um, our Second Amendment was self-defense. Guns can be used to stop acts of evil in the name of self-defense, according to Girls' Chair of Calvin's Foundation on July 26, 2012. There are a lot of evils in this world, and our civil right to armed self-defense has a storied history of protecting us from many of these evils. And guns are used 1.5 million times a year to successfully defend good people from bad people, almost always without the firing of a single shot. Also, assault weapons defend against terrorists. Gun control proponents deny that the average citizen can or should take action to stop terrorism. There are several examples of armed citizens armed with so-called assault weapons who protected themselves and their neighborhoods. Um, also, our contention three is that the ban is ineffective. Um, the federal ban was a victim of numerous compromises, unfortunate regulatory decisions, and exploitation by the gun industry. They can merely change the name of the gun or just change a specific part, and it won't be technically an assault weapon. And it will still have the same power or even more. <coughs> um, and our answers to the protein's contention of homicide is that murder and violent crime rates are still declining after the assault weapons ban has lapsed. Um, this is according to law economist and author on 2005. When the federal assault weapons ban ended, gun crimes and police killings were predicted to surge. Time. Grand crossfire. Help. Everybody. Everybody up. <laughs> hey, stand up. Yes, you ask first, pro. Thanks. Um, you stated, and I quote, guns protected people so that gun must, so that gun must <laughs> include handguns and not just specifically assault weapons. Yeah, but assault weapons have the ability to protect people because um, they hold more power and when, for example, terrorists use a gun with a handgun <laughs> and they have an assault weapon, it's not necessarily different. Mm -hmm. okay. so. um. <laughs> Okay, you also said that the assault weapons ban um, keeps people from uh, smuggling guns to Mexico and decreases deaths and crimes in Mexico. But the drug cartels, they can just get guns and assault weapons from other countries who have even better weapons. Oh, yes, <laughs> but guns from the U.S. are the easiest and most reliable source that Mexico cartel states can from. So that's why they have traced they have traced so many guns from in Mexico back to the US because the guns are traded most from the US in Jonathan, ask a question. Um, Hannah, answer this question. You said that the gun control is ineffective. And true there's a lot of flaws, but then how do you explain that? The murder rate fell by seven percent during the ban. Um. Oh. Okay. So the deep. Okay. 7% is the decrease in total gun murders in the country during the ban. Total gun murders, not only uh, assault weapons or um, not only assault weapons or only guns. It's the total gun murders. So you can be uh, saying that 7% uh, is, is <laughs> yeah, because, okay, yeah, 7% is not accurately because you don't know which 
weapons are the ones that are being used. Ask a question. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, you said that. Uh, Time. 